Blessings to you, my dear brothers and sisters. Of course, it's a very powerful day that I release a very powerful word of direction for you. Remember that I am always releasing words of direction. Words to jumpstart your day. Words that are going to help you, especially if you are stagnant, if you are facing delays and you don't know where the delay came from. Some of you are facing battles that you cannot comprehend. You are facing enemies that you think you cannot win. And yet God wants you to see something. God wants you to do something in order to overcome those enemies. That is why I release this day, these words on a daily basis. Brothers and sisters, if you want me to pray with you, if you want me to speak to you, you can send me a message through my WhatsApp number and through my email address, which are in the about section. If you want to be a blessing to this ministry through your giving, you can also do so. You can send me a message and I will direct you. Or you can send through my PayPal. Brothers and sisters, today's powerful word is obey the voice of God. It is important that you obey because obedience is better than sacrifice. When God tells you to do something, be obedient. Do it quickly. Don't waste time. Because the more time you waste, the more you cut short of your, of, of, of your uh, deliverance, of your blessings also, so to say. Some of you, God wants to give you territories. Some of you, God wants to give you nations. But you have disobeyed his voice. Some of you, God is calling you. He has called you. Brothers and sisters, if God tells you to destroy something, destroy it. Destroy it. If you have something that you have been holding on to for a long time and God tells you to, to throw it away, throw it away because God has the best plans for you. Do what he commands you to do and you will prosper. Some of you, the things that you are holding on to are the ones that are causing problems. That addiction that you're holding on to is causing you a problem. That friend you're holding on to is causing you a problem. Sometimes you need to let go of those people. That environment that you are, you're in is the one that is, could be the one that is causing you a problem. Those relationships you're holding on to think that they will rise up again. They're the problem. And God has been telling you to let go of that thing before it destroys you. I want to read you a scripture that is in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 1 to 9. 1 Samuel chapter 15, verse 1 to 9. And it reads, So also Samuel also said to Saul, The Lord sent me to anoint you king over Israel. His I'll repeat again. First Samuel chapter 15, verse 1. It says, Samuel also said to Saul, The Lord sent me to anoint you king over his people, over Israel. Now therefore, heed the voice of the words of the Lord. Thus says the Lord of hosts, I will punish Amalek for what he did to Israel, how he ambushed him on the way when he came up from Egypt. Now go and attack Amalek and utterly destroy all that they have and do not spare them, but kill both man and woman, infant and nursing child, ox and sheep, camel and donkey. So Saul gathered the people together and numbered them in Telaim, 200,000 foot soldiers, and 10,000 men of Judah. And Saul came to a city of Amalek and lay in wait in the valley. Then Saul said to the Canaanites, Go, depart, get down from among the Amalekites, lest I destroy you with them. For you showed kindness to all the children of Israel when they came up out of Egypt. So the Canaanites departed from among the Amalekites. 
and so attacked the Amalekites from Havila all the way to Shu, which is east of Egypt. He also took Agag, king of Amalekites, alive and utterly destroyed all the people with the edge of the sword. But Saul and the people spared Agag and the best of the sheep, the oxen, the fatlings, the lambs, and all that was good, and were unwilling to utterly destroy them, but everything despised and worthless that they utterly destroyed. I will continue by reading to verse 10 to 11 and see what really happened. Now the word of the Lord came to Samuel saying, I greatly regret that I have set up Saul as king, for he has turned back from following me and has not performed my commandments. And it grieved Samuel, and he cried out to the Lord all night. What a powerful word. That's why you see, my brothers and sisters, when God tells you to do something, do it. This was the word given to Saul, King Saul, a prophetic word. That when where he's going, he has to destroy everything. He was told never to spare. He was told never to spare anything, whether it is his animals, whether it is the king. But Saul disobeyed God. He spared the king. The king was called King Agag. He spared him. And he spared other things like sheep, lambs, oxen. He spared the best and destroyed those things that are worthless. Now a word comes to him through the prophet Samuel and tells him that God regrets setting him king of Israel. God rejected Saul. Saul lost his kingship. He lost his throne because of disobedience. Brothers and sisters, obey what God has told you to do. Don't lose what God is about to give you. As you hear the voice of God right now, some of you God has told you to do his work. Some of you God has called you to be ministers of the word. Some of you God has called you into the business area. Some of you God has told you to go and speak a word, but you have disobeyed. Do it before it destroys you. Brothers and sisters, I hope this word has blessed you. I hope this word has encouraged you. Until next time, shalom.